Hi everyone, my name is Gautam. I'm a video editor based in Mumbai, India. Apart from editing, I also shoot my own content and I use a Blackmagic 6K camera with an 18 to 65 Sigma lens. And uh, the footages that you're going to see in this video are all shot on that camera. Today, what we're going to learn is how to create this. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is just a seven second shot. You can upload this on your Instagram Reels, your TikTok or your YouTube shots and like that. This is just to show your grading skills. Grading is basically coloring your uh, footage after you have recorded them in your camera. This is the raw clip that came straight out of the camera. And then I have colored them in Resolve. And this is what the final result looks like. And what we're going to learn today is how to create this smooth transition that's happening from non-graded clips to the graded clips. That's all. It's very simple, it's very easy, and it's fun to create. So let's jump into it. I've already created the basic timeline of from where we're going to start. And these are all my clips that I'm going to use to create that shot. This is a draw clip straight out of the camera, and this is the color graded one. Uh, I've also created this image in Photoshop. Uh, this basically gives me markers. If you can see closely, like there are lines here. This uh, this divides our page in four equal pieces. And this is where we're going to put our clips. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to download this image for your own project, you can do so. Let's start. So first I'll do is I'll just, I'll just put my uh, first clip on, on the image, on this image, and scale it down, drag it. You can just use this to scale your clips. Okay. So we have to mask this extra bit that's coming out of the marker. We have to mask this out. And to do that, what we'll do is under opacity, and just click on this box thing. And that will give us this basic mask. I'll reduce the feather to zero because we, we don't want any feathering in our clip. And then I will carefully this right so once I have done this then I'll just press invert and then I have my clip back and then I'll put the opacity back to 100 so once we have this we'll copy the properties from one clip and we'll paste it on this one right and to do that we'll just go on the effects control click on motion and then you can press Command C or you can press right button and then go copy and then here and then Command V, that's all. And also we can do the same thing with the mask. Just go there, copy and then go here, click on opacity and then press Command V and then it's done. So now if you see, they are perfectly aligned, right? I'm just gonna quickly do that with the rest of the clips. Now, if you see, if I turn off all the graded ones, they will reveal the non-graded clips, right? So we just have to create that transition and then we are good to go. For the transition, I'm thinking when the boy opens his eyes in this first clip, I want that transition to happen. So if you look at his eyes, it's somewhere here he opens his eyes. Right? So I'll just put a marker here. And before this, a transition needs to happen. Right? So I will, somewhere here, I will trim all my graded clips to this point so before this are all my non-graded clips and then it just comes to the graded ones right that's all so ne the next step is to nest all the graded clips so we can apply that transition thing to do that i'll just select all my graded clips press right button and go to nest and i'll just name it graded clips okay uh, I'll select my nested sequence and then I'll go to the effects control. This time I'll select the free drop bezier. Okay. And then I'll zoom back to 25% and then I'll just draw a mask on the whole canvas. All we have to do is put two keyframes and then it's done. To put the keyframes, uh, if you look under your mask properties, you'll see this stopwatch icon that says toggle animation. Just tap on it. And that will create a keyframe here. And then you just drag that and put it aside somewhere. Okay. Then you click on the mask and that will reveal the mask. Drag and select 
the right points and then drag the mask towards your left. All right, done. All right. So now we have created two keyframes. The first keyframe is where our mask is off the frame. And the second keyframe is when our mask is covering the whole screen. So that's the animation that's happening. Now let's see how it looks. So you can see from our non-graded clips to graded clips. Done. What else we can do is we can add a piece of music. And I've already selected a music that I want to add on this. This is the piece of music and right. So our transition is ending here, right? And that's where we want the beat to drop as well. So it all looks like it's all synced. If you look at the music waveform, then it's obvious that this is where the beat is starting from. So I'll just drag and align it there and then delete the rest. It's fairly simple to do this. It's just like a seven second shot that you can put up on your channels and then you can show off your creating skills. One bonus tip that I would like to leave you with is how to export this in the best format that it won't lag while people are watching your shot, okay? So if I go and export, uh, you, this is your file name, you just name all your files and blah, blah, blah. And then your format, and your format, you just select H.264, which is MP4. And when you go down, you can see the bitrate settings. Under that, the bitrate encoding, go to CBR. This is your constant bitrate. It will give you the best performance while, while you're uploading your stuff on uh, YouTube and Instagram and you know platforms like these. And then I'll increase this to, right now, our file size is 13 MBs. Uh, which is which is not bad, but I think I think we can go up to 25 So that will give us like a 20 MB file, which is not bad in these days and after this just press the export button and then It's done. That's about it for this one. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new today If you enjoyed watching this then give me a thumbs up and follow my channel for more content like this if you guys are stuck somewhere in your editing project and you're not able to find the answer on YouTube or web, then write that in the comments below and I will try to address that in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.